There are two types of hippopotamus in Africa. The pygmy hippo and its much larger cousin, the common hippo. These magnificent beasts spend two-thirds of their day wallowing in water. But if you ever go hippo spotting, be careful. They're extremely dangerous. In fact, hippos kill more humans each year than great white sharks and lions combined. These guys are lethal. Around 300 species of octopus live in every ocean on Earth, and every one has the amazing ability to transform. Their disguising secret is in their incredible skin. It's made of elastic cells filled with colored pigments. Each can stretch and shrink to change their size and color at will. It looks trippy up close, but it's like magic in the wild. Thousands of cells all color match themselves to the surroundings. A bit like how individual pixels on a TV create a perfect image on a screen. But octopuses don't stop at simply changing color. They are shapeshifters. The skin can move to form bumps, ridges, spikes and hard edges like the plant life and rocks around them. End result? Now you see me, and now you don't. Given they eat lettuce all day, you'd think Fiona and Bibi would look like skinny supermodels. But they're built more like heavyweight boxers. Below their two-inch thick waterproof skin, there's not much fat, it's just dense muscle. That's right, hippos are ripped. The result is hippos weigh a lot. One even topped the scales at a whopping 9,000 pounds. The same as not one, but two SUVs. So they sink like a stone. Most mammals, including humans, float in the water. But hippos actually sink because they're so dense. Sinking's terrible for swimming fast. So do hippos have a super secret technique? Webbed feet? Flippers? A hippo propeller, maybe? No. These hippos aren't swimming at all. Look, they're walking. Hippos spend about 16 hours or so a day in the water, but hippos can't actually swim. Yes, believe it or not, hippos can't swim. There are 56 species of rat, but the best known and most abundant is the brown rat. Brown rats don't live in the wild, Wherever there are humans, they know they'll find bits of old burger, finger-licked chicken, and the occasional loaded hot dog. Not you, sir. And they multiply fast. A female brown rat can produce 12 litters a year, with up to 22 pups each time. Within three months, her babies can produce babies, who also produce babies. Which means a single pair of brown rats can have as many as 100 babies and 2,000 descendants in just one year. This is the mimic octopus, believed to have a repertoire of at least 15 known aliases. When a hungry grey reef shark swims near, it flattens its body into the shape of a toxic bottom-dwelling fish grows spikes and turns orange and white to look like a lethal lionfish. And they're so intelligent that they know the best aliases to use. Like when faced with a damselfish. They may look cute, but they attack octopuses. So the octopus scares it off by impersonating the damselfish's own predator, a venomous sea snake. The octopus is so good at mimicking, it even tricked us. Scientists didn't know they existed until 20 years ago, even though they've been swimming in plain sight for millennia. The mimic octopus is the undisputed champion of hide-and-seek. Incredibly, rats can squeeze through a hole as small as a quarter. The rat's ribs are hinged at the spine, allowing them to temporarily collapse under the pressure. The general rule is, if its head fits, then the body will follow. Better block up those baseboards. Now, 
Will this chasm stop them? Incredible. Rats can jump two and a half feet in the air. That's the equivalent of the average man jumping 11 feet off the ground. Handy for finding food in all those high places. Randy's taking a well-earned breather. But will Rocky take on the high wire challenge? Nice work. Whoa! Rocky nearly fell, but not to worry. He has incredible balance, thanks to his supersized tail. A rat's tail follows a similar principle as a tightrope walker's pole. It works as a counterbalance. If he tips one way, the tail swings in the opposite direction. This balancing technique allows the rat to run across power lines and into your home. Approaching the final curve, Rocky's committing the ultimate phobic nightmare. A rat can scurry up sewer pipes and into your toilet. Rats are excellent swimmers and can tread water for three days. They can even survive being flushed back down because they can hold their breath underwater for three minutes. Hold your breath. We're diving down 5,000 feet to the darkest reaches of the coldest oceans. Because here, amongst the world's most bizarre creatures, lives the most revolting of them all, the hagfish. Even its name's unpleasant. Its gelatinous head is filled with multiple rows of razor-sharp teeth, which are unleashed when a dead fish sinks to the sea floor. Dinner starts when it burrows itself into the carcass. And it gets worse. Now the hagfish eats the dead fish from the inside out. Ugh. And it'll do the same to living creatures too. It's really not fussy. Hard to believe this is not the hagfish's most disgusting feature. Fishing boat captain Mark has bravely agreed to show us. I'm going to show you how amazing these animals are and what they produce that is their defense mechanism for other animals eating them or bothering them. What is that? Oh, gross. The more you agitate them, the more slime he secretes. The gunk is excreted out of those circular pores running along its skin. When the gunk mixes with seawater, it turns into a disgusting snot-like mucus. One hagfish can fill a five-gallon bucket in minutes. The human body is made up of 850 muscles, but an elephant's trunk is made up of more than 40,000. This vast muscle network enables them to lift, twist, and move any part of their trunk from the base to the very tip. So these huge, strong muscles within the trunk are constricting and widening to allow those two nostrils to be larger to accommodate all of the water that they can suck up and hold at one time. An elephant can hold up to two gallons in its trunk in one gulp. And there's more to these neat noses. Elephants have a number of ways to use their dynamic trunk to pick things up. So we're going to start with just cubed apples and segmented oranges. Shishuru is using something unique to the African elephant. Two finger-like points at the tip of his trunk. By pinching together these two opposing tips, they can grasp objects smaller than a pin making Shishuru's tremendous trunk the perfect pickup. Oh boy. Sharp, semi-retractable claws grip the ground like running spikes. And a two-and-a-half-foot long tail makes crucial balance adjustments as the cat tears after the zigzagging prey. It really is the rudder that keeps them going, because if they're going flat out and really fast after prey in the wild, without the tail, they would most likely fall over at that speed. They wouldn't stand a chance. And there's one more trick up this speedster's spotty sleeve. When a cheetah runs, its head barely moves. Their head is straight, fixated, focused as they would be in a hunt. It's like a missile on a target. They're just completely on it the whole time. 
Scientists have recently discovered how a cheetah's head is able to remain virtually in the same position while the rest of its body is in overdrive. It's because of their ears. They have the longest inner ear canals of any cat. The liquid-filled canals are lined with tiny sensory hairs. As the cheetah runs, the hairs measure its body movement through the movement of the liquid. This information is sent to the brain, which uses it to keep the cheetah's head under perfect control, like a gyroscope. These extra long ear canals are super sensitive and enable the cheetah to keep its head totally focused on the prey. This is ground flax, also known as linseed. Shishuru has never come across powdered food like this before. So you can see him expanding the tip of his trunk to smell and to see what it is. It's not moving, so he's not using suction. Is the lack of something to grip too much for even Shishuru's talented trunk? That's incredible. He's using the side of those fingers just as you would sweep something off of a countertop. This is as much brain work as it is trunk work. Let's see how Chova, an elephant who sadly lost the tip of his trunk, manages the powdered seeds. Amazing. To be able to survive in an adapting environment, they need something that's strong and delicate. That's all of those things combined into just one organism. They can adapt it and use it however they need. It really is the most useful device an animal can have. It is the all-in-one trunk.